Hey there mobsters, it's Dreamcast Guy, and today we're trying to dig into the complicated topic of gaming origins. What makes somebody a gamer? And I feel like this is actually a more complicated question than people realize because it's never just one thing. Like, I grew up with an Atari, which I didn't exactly love, then I got an NES and I was playing Mario, but that's not what made me a gamer. I think the moment for me where I first realized I wanted to play games every single day was in my early childhood we moved a lot. Like every six months or so we'd pack up everything and go to a new house or end up in an apartment and so because of it, it made it where I was constantly having to make new groups of friends. But thankfully I did have a Game Boy and I had Pokemon at the time, Pokemon Red specifically and then later on Pokemon Gold. And it gave me a vocabulary. It gave me this ability to go from place to place and immediately find the other gamers. I had a chance to go on the playground and see the kids with their big old Game Boys and walk up and start to make friends and make trades. And it gave me a chance to explore myself and the world, especially socially and in friend groups and stuff, because of gaming. To me, gaming is more than just the things we play. It's more than just the bosses we beat. It's who we are. So that was the time when I realized that I am in fact a gamer. Yo, what's up VG Monster? This is VCV Sips and this is my clip on what got me into gaming. I started off gaming back in the day when I was a kid with the PS1, with Spyro, Crash, Ape Escape, Rugrats. I know, I know. Hold on a sec. I know that's a really odd game, but I was a kid at the time. I used to watch Rugrats. That's why I had that game. What officially got me into gaming was the Nintendo 64 and Super Mario 64 specifically. Ever since I had that game and that console, it got me into gaming to this day where I've played all kinds of games and consoles since then. I've met many great people in the community and it's because of all of you that I'm here to this day. Thank you VG Monster for this opportunity to showcase what got me into gaming. What's good everybody, it's your girl Nia the Video Game Her and hmm, VG Mobster wants to know how I got started gaming. So basically, I've been gaming pretty much as long as I've been able to hold a controller, so probably about two or three years old. Um, my earliest memories of video games would be Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt on the NES. And then when I got a little bit older, you know, I started gaming on the SNES and I was um, introduced to video games like The Legend of Zelda, A Link to the Past. And that game showed me that gaming was so much more than jumping on platforms and stomping on Goombas. Like it could actually be story based and it could immerse you into a completely different world. And um, I really am thankful for Nintendo for creating those experiences for me. And they are the reason why I am still a gamer till this day. Thank you to VG Mobster for allowing me to be in this video. He's the homie. He's been the homie for some years. And congratulations on your channel, man. I wish you luck. How's it going, Mobsters? Call Rocco here. Um, to answer the question of why I got into gaming and how I got into gaming, I'll just kind of break it up into a two-part answer. So when I was two years old, I was at my grandfather's house and I was touching everything and you know not having a care in the world as you know any two-year-old wouldn't really and quite frankly i don't really remember too much of that but what i do remember is um frustrating my grandfather to the point where he put me on my uncle's lap and you know i played my first game you know with it being the smurfs on the coleco vision and i actually do have that original coleco vision i was able to get a hold of a brand new copy of the Smurfs. I have no way of hooking it up, but you know, for the sake of my grandfather's memory, because he did pass away almost years ago, um, I wanted to hang on to that. And what got me into game development um, essentially was there was a point in time where I was really down and in the dumpster, and not you know, not to get too personal. And um, it wasn't until the Mega Man Battle Network series came along which really saved my life and brought me out from the gutter. And you know, from that point on, my love for games grew even more and my passion for wanting to be a producer in the video game industry um, certainly took flight. And you know, that's pretty much how and why I got into gaming. What keeps me gaming at the ripe age of 38 
uh, is the stories. You know, I've played games like God of War, Spider-Man, currently playing Xenoblade Chronicles Definitive Edition, but, you know, most importantly, the stories of games across, you know, a 36-year uh, span have kept me going. Uh, obviously, as I got older, I was able to pay attention to the stories more and appreciate them more, but that's what got me into gaming. So, what got me into video games, so I've been playing video games since, like, I was, like, eight, seven years old, back, uh, back in the NES. That's when I started playing back on the Nintendo Entertainment System. Hey everyone, this is Frankenstein Gaming. Um, my earliest gaming memory that I can remember is probably, uh, this was about maybe I was three or four years old. I got a Game Boy Color. Uh, it was like the bluish aqua color. Came with Pokemon Yellow. Um, I don't remember if it was for my birthday or Christmas, but um, I really love that game. And I guess that's kind of why I'm so attached to Nintendo and Pokemon, because I was exposed to it at such an early age. Uh, my first actual physical console was the PlayStation 1. I played a ton of different games on there. I vividly remember I was way too young to be playing Resident Evil 3 or 2, but I definitely was playing it, and man, uh, some of that was probably what gave me such an uh, appreciation for horror games and stuff like that. But I've always been a fan of gaming. I love being able to explore different worlds and artwork, and there's all different types of genres, no matter who you are. I'm more of those person who can be into any kind of a genre. Uh, the gameplay I like, really, I, I think at the core, I enjoy being able to create the own world, my own world as I see fit. But then again, I also like the looting and RPG aspects that many games offer, so it really all depends. Um, I find gaming is a way for me to help cope with like, anxiety and sometimes like depression that sometimes I may encounter throughout my life, and it's definitely helped me, which is another reason why I like to um, stream and provide updates on Twitter and YouTube because I interact with a community and can try and help people get over that stuff and find a sense of companionship and community in that. And I really try my hardest to make that known as best as I can. So yeah, um, my socials are Twitter at Epstein underscore gaming, Twitch, Frankenstein underscore gaming, Instagram, same thing. I also have a podcast called Respawn Rx and yeah, uh, VG Mobster, thanks again for doing this. It's really awesome. I appreciate it, man. Thanks. What's happening? This is Ever Don, and once again, VG, thank you so much for having me on for this awesome, awesome project. Um, not to waste anyone's time, uh, VG's been asking everybody what got us into video games. And one of the things that really got me into video games was being able to play Sonic 2 with my brother growing up on the Sega Genesis. And I remember growing up, um, he was not the type that want to let me play because back then you know as a kid you suck at video games so i had to be tails but i couldn't keep up you know it's especially around the last level where you really cannot mess up like you really have to help him get across to the a to, um to the end before you fight robotnik in the final level that was an experience and i know you know being able to beat that game together was a fulfilling experience and just looking past that i was able to get games like quack shot which was the first game that I personally owned. Then I got um, Ninja Turtles, Hyperstone Heist, then Return of the Ninja Master, Shinobi. So I got a lot of Genesis games. And I know a lot of you know me with Nintendo content, but Sega was like the first, the first console that literally got me into gaming. And I wouldn't take it back, you know. I really am thankful for those memories and it really helped me enjoy my experiences with the Super Nintendo, with the N64, going all the way down to the Nintendo Switch. If it wasn't for playing with my brother on Sega, it wouldn't be like me playing on the Switch. What's going on, Mobster? It is Smash JT, and thank you so much for allowing me to be part of this collaboration. Okay, so where did I get my start in gaming? It goes back to when I was wearing diapers. I was born in 81, and I was the youngest of five boys in my family, and gaming has always been kind of a family affair. My brothers always got all the newest games and systems. My oldest brother was born in the early 70s, and all throughout my childhood, I just recall having all the systems at my leisure just in front of me ready to play the Commodore 64 Tandy computers the Atari 2600 and I remember the first time I saw the NES my brother brought it home with Mario Brothers I saw Mario move across the screen 
my mind was absolutely blown. Like that was a life changing moment. I actually, one of my earliest memories of my life, still remember exactly where I was sitting on the TV that it was playing on in my brother's room. And I was just wide eyed, like, how is this happening? Because leading up to this point, all the other systems I played weren't really capable of the power that the NES had, which is kind of funny now looking back. But for its time, the NES was a gigantic leap in technology. And then from there, obviously, the Super Nintendo, Genesis, PlayStation, N64, and so on and so forth. But growing up, my brothers would always have like Nintendo Powers and Game Pros, and I would always be sneaking into their rooms to play the games and put them back the way they were, just, just so they wouldn't get mad at me if they found out that I snuck in to play them. So many memories, and even when I moved out to California and became a game tester for Sony and got my name in the end credits of games on the PlayStation 3 back in the day, I mean, that was surreal. So yeah, that is my quick synopsis of my life and how I got into gaming. And thank you so much again for allowing me on this collaboration. Stay smashing. How's it going, guys? Brett Medlock here, EIC from the Nintendo Enthusiast website and personality over on the YouTube channel. So how did I get into games? Well, my older brother is eight years older than me, and he was already super into games by the time I was even born. So I came out of that womb, and I already had an NES and an SNES waiting for me to play them whenever I was capable. So in my earlier years, I would play a lot of Nintendo, and I also played some Sega at like my cousin's house and whatnot, and I played video games a lot during that time, but I wouldn't say I truly got into games until Ocarina of Time on Nintendo 64. That console in general was the first one I was aware of before it actually came out. I was actually anticipating it with my brother, and we got Ocarina of Time, and it was glorious. That game made me realize what video games could be, and it's still like in my top four favorite games of all time. Like, I love Ocarina of Time. So yeah, it's kind of boring. My brother is what got me into video games. He was eight years older than me, so he already had everything figured out and was loving games, and he got me into them. Thanks for having me on, VG Mobster, and if you're listening to this, hit subscribe, because this guy is awesome. Hey there, VG Mobster, my friend, uh, Stu here. I just want to obviously reply and thank you uh, for letting me get involved in your video. I was thinking back, uh, I mean, apart from obviously my, my Sonics and all that sort of thing, the one that really stuck in my mind and has since day one has got to be this bad boy right here, Mortal Kombat. It was one of the first games I bought uh, for my Mega Drive back in the 90s. This is the actual legit original that I bought. Uh, this has always been mine. I've never actually sold this one. Shock horror, because I sold most of my others, but this one always stuck with me. And it is. It was so controversial when it came out, and I loved it for day one, and I, I thought it was one of the best conversions uh, of the actual game, and I absolutely thought it was outstanding because I could play it in the house against my brother and kid butt. So that was always nice. But yeah, that is, that is one of my favorite, um, definitely gaming memories that I've, I've got. All right, so I got a request from the VG mobster himself asking, what got me into video game video making? When the Don asks, I gotta deliver. So I started in video game making about five years ago. Since I was a teenager, I loved making videos. In high school, I would get together with my friends, make videos, and I was always big into gaming since, uh, since I was a kid. But I never really thought of putting the two together until I became a fan of the Angry Video Game Nerd and seeing him put his passion of video making with gaming. And so I was a big fan of him for many years. And as I was looking to get into gaming, um, I eventually came across this, this website, nintendoenthusiast.com. I met the founder and I was looking at ways to support him and support the brand and how to elevate it. And so they had these like amazing articles coming out. There was one, it was like all these indie games coming out for the Wii U. I was like, oh, this would be so much better if it was in video form. Then I wouldn't have to read over like 150 different uh, games for the Wii U. And so I had a buddy who who was into video production. I'm like, hey, can, can you join me? Bring your camera. We're going to go down to a, a video game store and we're going to shoot the show and it's going to be called the Indie Corner. And from that point on, I put out 14 episodes and I went back to Nintendo Enthusiasts and I said, hey, can you guys put this on your channel? I think it'd be great content. And they were like, yeah, this is great. And then um, we pretty much just started working together from there. And I went on to create more series like the Wii 100 and stuff. 
um, for a couple of years until finally, and that's also where I met um, my friend RGT85. We, we were building the channel NintendoEnthusiast.com together until a couple of years after where RGT went his own way to build RGT85. And eventually I'm like, you know what? I, I need to go and do my own thing. So at this time I was doing gaming full time and I wanted my own, uh, like I was working in the gaming industry full time, not in video making. So I needed kind of my own side channel to do that on. And that's where I launched Hey J. And from there is where I started pretty much streaming and making videos of anything that really inspires me to talk about gaming. And that's how I got into video game, video making. Hey, what's up everybody? I am Switchbit. I am a video game rapper and video game collector. You might see me on YouTube. And this is how I got started in gaming. Five years old, my brothers brought home an Atari 2600. 13 inch TV, tiny little TV, like in their bedroom, they showed me a game called Moon Patrol. And at five years old, it was the first time I had played a game. It blew my mind. I was hooked on games ever since. Like just the, the graphics, the ability to control, they put that controller in my hand and oh man, it was on. So right after that i mean within a couple of years my stepbrother got a regular nintendo i would go over to my dad's house like i would get so excited to go to my dad's house just to play the nes mario brothers uh mario brothers 2 it was like like 1989 1990 at that point so you know they had all the good games come out i was playing them all all day and then i got my very own nes when i was eight years old and from that day forward I and mean, it was on i haven't looked back video games all day but it all goes back when I was five years old, my brothers brought home that Atari Moon Patrol. And uh, yeah, man, it changed my life. Like everything else just seems so mundane compared to video games. Like that, that was the future and I've stuck with it every step of the way. And now it is pretty much my life, honestly. So yeah, that's how I got started in games, honestly. Like from, from the get go, I was, I was in 100% the first time I touched a controller. And I'm still in 100% now. What's up everybody, this is Tony from The Big Plume. So what got me started in gaming? So I have to say, the first event I can remember that really got me started was when I received the original Intellivision as a hand-me-down from my dad. And I remember plugging that thing into the TV. And this was an old console at the time, even when I received it. And I was just mesmerized how you could control what was going on on the screen by pressing buttons on a controller. And then that really just launched me into wanting to dive deeper into future consoles and into other video games and just the future generations of gaming. And then after that, I would say, the biggest influence, the biggest starting influence for video games for me was with the Super Nintendo and the Donkey Kong Country series. I absolutely loved that series. I was obsessed with it, played it all the time. And I would say that it was an even bigger influence on the Super Nintendo for me than Super Mario Brothers. So starting with the original and television, I know it's kind of a weird one for a lot of people that gets them into games and then just moving on and loving video games for generations to come. Hello gamers from around the world. This is Archimedes, the video game enthusiast from Germany. And my good friend the VG Mobster has asked me to put together a short summary of what got me into gaming. So here we go. It all started about 30 years ago when I was 7 or 8 years old with the OG Game Boy. My first console slash handheld. Super Mario Land, Zelda Link's Awakening and other great games introduced me to the best hobby in the world. From there on out I grew up and played of course all Nintendo systems, but I also played a lot on the Playstation and later got hooked with the Xbox and I even went back and bought some Sega systems. It's hard to tell what really made me the gamer I am today, but there are some milestone games for me that come to mind. Zelda A Link to the Past and Ocarina of Time, GoldenEye, Resident Evil 1, Halo Combat Evolved, The Elder Scrolls, Morrowind, Uncharted 2, Skyrim and of course The Witcher 3 from this generation. And I probably forgot tons and tons of games. I just love gaming and play all games on all consoles cause I do not participate in the whole console war nonsense. Today I have a small YouTube channel in which I cover my opinions on some of the hot topics of the video game industry and I put up reviews from different games I play. So if you are interested please follow me on Twitter and especially here on YouTube. Just search for Boxenberger. I hope to talk gaming with you soon and game on.
What's up, VG Mobs? So thank you so much for having your man Chips and Sticks and Squirtle on the video on what got us into gaming. So, I grew up as a Genesis kid. I remember getting Mortal Kombat 1 for Christmas and along with Spider-Man. And really, those games got me hooked. I mean, I just stayed up as late as I could playing all of those games. And then later on, as I got older, still having a Genesis, I played X-Men, the original. Uh, I never picked it up myself, but I bought X-Men 2, and then Batman and Robin, Sonic. Uh, there's a ton of games that, you know, were on the Genesis that actually, you know, kept me going and kept me in the gaming. And again, thank you so much for having me on this video. Back to you. Hey, everyone. I'm Alex Prime and I was asked from my good buddy VG Mobster to make a quick little video on what got me into video games. And as some of you may know or if you don't know, I've been gaming basically all my life ever since I was a kid. My parents came home one day, Christmas, we opened up Super Nintendo, Super Mario World. Yes, this is the one, the game that got me into gaming. It'll forever be my favorite game. For that reason and also it's a masterpiece game that still to this day has not been surpassed as far as platformers go but that's beyond the point that is the game that started it all i still remember christmas morning opening the system up setting it up playing with my sister we played for hours and hours and hours and that will always be one of if not the greatest memory i have of my childhood so gotta thank nintendo and my parents for that one and still to this day, you can see there, still love Nintendo, rocking the Switch, the Switches, uh, the, my favorite Nintendo console now, finally surpassing the Super Nintendo. And yeah, Mario's still the best, Mario Odyssey, Super Mario Maker 2, a huge Donkey Kong fan, Donkey Kong Country on Super Nintendo, also one of my favorite games. But yeah, then you know, eventually branching out, trying an Xbox, PlayStation, now I play a lot on PC, mostly just PC and Nintendo now. But it's been like that for a long time, a lot of gaming. And uh, it's, it all started again with, with the, the masterpiece, Super Mario World and Super Nintendo. As far as I'm concerned, you can't start in a better place. And gaming's been great ever since. Gaming continues to evolve, get bigger, and branch out to more people. And it's, uh, it's just a great hobby. So there you go. That's how I got into gaming. Christmas, Super Nintendo, perfect pairing. There you go, VG Mobster buddy. There you go. I will see you later. Bye. So I got into video games the same way I feel like a lot of people got into video games via a family member. Um, I remember going over to my uncle's house once and I was like super young and he had just gotten an NES with Super Mario Brothers and just watching him play that and playing that game myself, I was just absolutely blown away and just floored by it. Like it was just so cool to see like this video game and like controlling it and you know, the graphics of course were a bit primitive but it still looked great at the time. I remember he ended up getting a Sega Genesis with Sonic the Hedgehog and he actually gave me that NES with all of his games for Christmas that following year as sort of a late surprise Christmas gift so that was my first video game console that I had and I remember watching him play Sonic the Hedgehog and I was like wow that looks so much better than the NES but obviously I loved the NES it was an awesome system playing games like Mario and Tecmo Bowl and stuff like that even even more offshoot and weird sort of games so that was how I got into video games I feel like a lot of people got into it you you know via family members older family members who got systems but yeah that was how i got my feet into the world of video games and really i haven't left it since so you are wondering how i got into gaming honestly i feel like i was pushed into gaming when i was born <laughs> my dad is a super nerd super computer nerd and we always had the best computer and stuff like that in the early 90s so I don't remember my first experience with gaming because it's always been a thing since I could first remember things, if you know what I mean. But one of my first memories with gaming is actually playing King's Quest 7. And later on it was Doom, it was a bunch of MS-DOS games that I still don't know the names of and I have been looking for them in my adult life. There was just a bunch of games. I remember them in my head, but I have yet to find some of their names. There were flight simulators, there were ship simulators, just just a bunch of really good MS-DOS games. So that is how I started and I always loved it, always been loving gaming, uh, all my life, 
for all time that I can remember. Now, thank you so much for asking me to be in your collab. Hey everyone, uh, for those who don't know me, my name is... I'm Sonic, <laughs> gotta go fast! Uh, what? He's Greg Vargas, and you might have seen me on different places like Class vs. Crass, or even PCInvasion.com! <laughs> what I wanted to really talk to you about today is what really got me into gaming. Well, actually three things, I guess you could say. 14-year-old Greg, access to the internet through America Online, and the release of the Sega Dreamcast. Sega Dreamcast was like my all-time favorite console, uh, mostly because I worked all summer mowing lawns, washing cars, just to save up enough money to get it. But it really got me into sourcing my own information, seeking out game trailers, looking at new information that was coming out about the system. That's when the about the time that I really fell in love with gaming. You know, so many cool things to start researching, like what were these VMUs that plugged into the controllers, and then you could pull them out of the controllers and then, uh, you know, play with them outside. It really started getting me interested in, in that journalistic aspect of it, I guess. And I only had a couple of games. I only had a, a Sonic Adventure. <laughs> as well as Dynamite Cop. That's really it. That's when I fell in love with gaming. And, you know, it's it's been so much a, a part of my life now. Uh, I'm on, like I said, Class vs. Crass, um, you know, as a podcast, as well as attending E3 year after year. Very appreciative, you know, being asked to, you know, kind of share my thoughts on, on what really got me into gaming. But it really was that, you know, outside of tips and tricks and Game Pro, it was, you know, discovering what I really loved about gaming and, you know, I haven't turned back since. VG Mobster, my boy. Uh, so, I've been asked to be a part of VG Mobster's video on how we got into gaming and what it means to us now. So, uh, you know, I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet, but, you know, there's a, there's a pretty long story to that one. Uh, when I got into gaming, I was I was really really young. I think my first my very first console uh, was a Sega Genesis. Actually, it was given to me uh, by my family. And uh, as I got a little bit older, uh, I ended up getting a regular NES. And the NES, I actually played more than my Sega Genesis um, because I mean all all the only games I had at the time were. Uh, Sonic and Altered Beast for my Sega Genesis, which those games are fantastic, but you can only play so much Sonic the Hedgehog and Altered Beast before you start looking for some variety, you know what I mean? Uh, so I ended up getting into the NES. The first game I got on the NES was uh, Super Mario Brothers 3, uh, which, I mean, hey, that's, that's a pretty fantastic game to have as your first game on the NES. And uh, I also had punch out and uh, snake rattle and roll that was another one I played for a long time um, but as I got older you know I ended up getting a, uh, a Super Nintendo and you know that's when gaming really really got a, a big hold of me because it was something that I was able to do with my grandmother and my grandmother spent a lot of time with me playing video games and uh, you know some of those some of those memories are the fondest memories that I have gaming has gotten me into a lot of other things as well you know it's, I've made a lot of really good friendships like I said uh, content creation on YouTube uh, which any, you know obviously you guys can can catch me on any of this stuff but uh, I've actually come into contact with people like VG mobster for for example um, probably many other other people that are on this video I've, I've come into contact with I've come into contact with a lot of really really awesome people um, it brought me into you know changing my career entirely like Video games got me into business management. I know that sounds a little weird, but it it took me from you know being someone who didn't really have a a plan or a, a goal in life and uh, put me on a path where I was able to to monetize it and and make something of myself through my passion of video games. So I have a lot of love for video games in in many aspects of my life but you know i would say the most important parts are, are definitely the friendships and the memories that i've had so vg mobster i welcome you onto the platform of youtube I'm, I'm glad to see you doing your thing i really appreciate you asking me to be part of this video and uh i hope everybody enjoys this smashes that like button 
and uh, shows VG Mobster some love. What's going on, everybody? It's the VG Mobster here, and that is an offer you cannot refuse. Thank you to all the content creators who contributed to this video. You guys have shared your gaming passion for hours and hours with thousands and thousands of subscribers from around the world. I mean, we are truly indebted to you guys. You keep our passion for gaming alive. Um, again, not the revolutionary here in the VG Mobster case, but how I got started in gaming was the NES with my sister, playing Duck Hunt, playing Super Mario on the double cartridge. The game was mind-blowing. The graphics were insane. The controls were awesome. And of course, you had that awesome zapper, which changed gaming forever to me. It just added a new level that had never been there before, and I've just been gaming ever since. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you guys like what these guys were saying, obviously subscribe to them. All their links are going to be in the description below. And if you like this video overall, you can subscribe to my channel, The VG Mobster, or else.